if you want to change your health karma, or wealth karma, or relationship karma, all that you need to do is to take care of the thought process pertaining to this area. And all thought processes are, you know, unworthy to have. They are garbage. So get rid of the garbage. The Buddha said it's all psychological. That was his model. And I want to go one step further, and thanks to the science that uh, has made us possible this uh, this advancement that we can we can go and identify the part of the brain that carries this karma. If it is uh, um, money karma, if it is health karma, if it is relationship karma, they can all be identified to different parts of the brain and where we go wrong, whether it is if it is a relationship, it is the emotional brain. If we have negative attitudes towards money, it is more uh, being uh, locked into logic and then which allows you very little freedom for outrageous uh, happenings or miracles to happen. And that particularly is, is the frontal lobe. And the neocortex, which is the you know, development of the brain as we begin to evolve, I don't know if we have uh, we have uh, gone in the right direction, and I will talk about Krishnamurti, who also mentioned about that. The neocortex is responsible for most of our uh, logical uh, brain, and that doesn't allow us to have instantaneous transformation. That's why in the uh, midbrain miracle method, a course I taught uh, uh, some time ago, and I said that we have to go back to our reptilian brain or the primitive brain, which includes the thalamus and then the pineal gland, which which can give you infinite amount of uh, possibility to go and live the outrageous life that we want to live. So that gives us to look at karma from a different angle that it is possible by understanding understanding the various parts of the brain that we can go and change our karma, which are our notions that we have carried on through our own neurology. So through a neurological change, we can change everything about karma. So that's why I say poverty is a matter of neurology. Health is a matter of neurology. Relationship is a matter of neurology. So this is uh, my message that it is all a matter of neurology, including compassion, because now that we have enough research to show that people are not compassionate because they have problem with their anterior cingulate. And then neurons, the economo, one economo neurons are involved with compassion. That people are not compassionate, that's why we, are, we have all the problems.